Hi folks, this is Matt Lee with Funtime RV, and today I'm in one of our uh, air-conditioned showrooms, uh, actually this time of year, heated showrooms as well, and the product I want to talk to you today is one of our newer products that we've started carrying. It's the Coachman Chaparral. Um, Coachman, as many of you know, has been around the RV industry for quite a while. Um, just recently, they were purchased as a company by uh, Forest River. Um, Forest River being the second largest RV manufacturer and a wholly owned subsidiary of Berkshire Hathaway. So uh, Warren Buffett now owns Coachman. Uh, what that means to you is, is they have a nationwide network of Forest River uh, support to go along with the quality that many of you have known uh, in the Coachman line from the past. Let's look at the Coachman Chaparral. It's a midline fifth wheel. Um, you're going to be looking probably 10 to 15 different floor plans and I'm going to show you some of the features on some of the ones we have today. Let's start by looking at this nose cap here. They call it a turn tech cap. Now with the turn tech cap, those of you who want a short bed truck are not going to have to worry about uh, smacking the side of your cab whenever you turn real sharp because you can do a 90 degree turn with the turn tech cap. Um, it's going to make it a lot easier, not have to have a long bed truck. You can park it in your garage and park it in the parking places when you go to the mall. So um, just remember the turn tech cap. You can see from the angle that it's going to be a lot better for towing. Um, notice as you look down the side, a really clean look. You've got outside speakers if you want to listen to the radio outside. And another nice feature that you're going to see is the electric awning. All you do is push a button. and that awning pops right out. Saves you a whole lot of time. You don't have to worry about anchoring it down. If you're going to go away for the evening, instead of saying, well, now we've got to take the awning and, and uh, run it back out or run it back in, you just push the button and there it goes. So you never have to leave it out and then come back and find it wrapped around your back of your coach because there was a high wind. Um, another thing that's real nice on the Coachman Chaparral, it's got great pass-through storage. You got a little area here for your dirty stuff and then you can put more stuff across here. And let's go across to the other side and I'll show you some of the outdoor features as well. This is another nice feature on the Coachman Chaparral. It's your outdoor con customer convenience center. Notice you've got an outside shower that you can clean off with. You've got a black tank flush You've got your water hookup, you've got your dump valves, you've got your TV and cable, and then your fresh water fill. And what you can do is you can close this off. People can't come by and mess with it when it's stretched out all down the side of your coach. They can. Um, but this way it's all protected and it all stays insulated because all this is, is insulated on the inside here. You also have a battery disconnect right up here. So if you're not going to be using it for a while, you just flip the switch and shut the battery off. All right, now what you're looking at now is the underside of the Coachman Chaparral. Now notice that's a hard underbelly. Um, you've got bolts in there. You, you notice the foam around there. It's very well insulated. So this is going to be a true Four Seasons coach to where you're not going to have to worry about bugs and critters crawling up underneath there. And then it's also going to keep that cold air out and keep your tanks insulated and heated. This particular model of the Coachman Chaparral is the 299 TSB. Um, this is a triple slide bunkhouse model. So it's got three slide outs. Um, a few more things you'll notice. It's got the dark tinted in windows to keep, keep out that sun. Uh, it's got the upgrade to the aluminum wheels. Um, your construction, you've got Phylon fiberglass. You've got a two inch uh, EPS block foam wall. And then on your roof, you've got a 16 inch on center um, uh, bowed truss system. And the floor, that's a, another nice thing that you really need to see. The floor is completely laminated. So whenever you walk in across this, you're not going to have soft spots in your floor. It's going to be a solid floor. It's got aluminum studding across there. So it's going to be very durable. I know a lot of our competition, when you walk through it, um, you'll feel a soft spot and you kind of feel like you're you know, walking through it and it's, and it's giving a little bit. You won't feel that in a Coachman Chaparral, not at all. You can walk through it the whole way and it's going to be solid. Come on inside and look at some of the other nice features we have. Now the first thing you're going to notice when you step into the Coachman Chaparral is you're going to look around at the wood, at the fabrics, at the furniture, the carpet, the linoleum, and you're going to say, wow, this is like a house. It's got a carpet with a little thicker pad. Um, it's, a, it's a pattern that you're going to see in a home. Notice the linoleum. Uh, a lot of people come in here and look at it and say, wow, this looks like real slate. Um, but it is a linoleum, so it's going to be a little more durable. Um, plus, you don't have the cost and the weight of slate. Now, this is real. A true Corian countertop. 
Notice you got your sink with a pull-out spray and stainless steel sink. And notice they're both deep and they're both pretty good size. They don't give you the little small one um, like some of them do that you can't even wash your hands in. So, but this is this is true Corian, so they haven't spared any expense on on making it more of a. a I wouldn't say this is camping anymore. I'd say you're, you're past camping. This is living. This is truly living. Um, notice you got big windows all the way around your slide. You've got the inflatable air mattress. So whenever you have guests over and they get ready to go to bed, you just punch the button and inflate it. And then uh, when you get done, you just hit deflate and it'll suck the air right back out. But it makes about a full-size bed, so you can sleep, uh, you know, two adults, two kids comfortably on there. Um, if you need extra sleeping as well, the dinette lays down into a bed. Uh, the booth does. you got storage underneath both sides. But one thing you're going to want to notice, you know, I'm a pretty tall guy. My legs are pretty long, but I don't hit the bar when I'm sitting here. Um, I've got plenty of room here, and you can sit four adults comfortably. It's a nice wide bench, so another adult could sit here and you could eat, play cards, whatever you want to do, and you're going to have plenty of room. Um, also, it's a little taller slide. Now, there's a lot of these that I have to duck over to get into. Um, so this one's pretty good, pretty good height here. You're not going to be smacking your head near as much. Uh, the TV would go here. DVD players built in. Got your surround sound speakers. Got a ceiling fan. Look at the storage. Nice deep pantry. And then in the back, the bunk area, you can fold the bunk up out of the way if you're not using it and you got an extra couch here. But come back and look at this, this extra bath. This is a bath and a half model. So you got your main bathroom up in, the, up in the main bedroom and this is your extra bath. Just close it off here for a little privacy. And then that way, if somebody's upstairs taking a bath or a shower or uh, getting ready in the morning and somebody else needs to wash their hands or go to the restroom, just come back here and you've got an extra spot. Plus, you've got tons of storage back here. So an extra place for clothes, for towels, anything like that that you might want to take with you. And this is not a small bathroom. I mean, there's plenty of room in here to move around. You want to, you know, brush your teeth in the morning. Somebody needs to shave and get ready. You got a little medicine cabinet back there. So there's plenty of room. Um, let's go up and take a look at the master bedroom because it's even nicer. The coachman bedroom is going to be really nice because it's not a, it's like a lot of mid line fifth wheels and mid profile. It's not going to be, have that step up like right when you come into the bedroom. So you're not going to come in and then have to, you know, go up steps to get into the bed. It's going to be a flush floor um, up to the closet. So what you have is nice big shower and you're still going with that residential look. You've got still got that residential style linoleum and carpet, but the shower is plenty big. And I can stand up fine in it. I mean, I'd have no problem taking a shower in this. Beats a pop-up any day. Lots of room to turn around. You got the nice medicine cabinet and sink here. Um, the bed, notice you got windows on both sides, and they do open. So in that, when you're camping out in that time of year when it's really nice outside and you don't be running your air conditioner all the time, you can open those two windows, then open the window here at the foot of the bed and get a nice cross ventilation in here, you know, get that cool breeze blowing in. Um, Notice the uh, drawers, the bank of drawers down here at the foot of the bed. And all the drawers are going to have residential style runners throughout the coach. Um, so you're not going to have the, the cheap wooden runners or, uh, or the cheap metal ones that end up carving themselves up after you've used them a little bit. It's all going to be a, a little bit more upgraded like a residential style. And then up here in the front, you'll notice the, the closet opens from both sides so you've got lots of room to hang your clothes and got a little shelf up top and a shelf down bottom for your shoes. Um, you even got storage under the bed so you can put coats or blankets or what have you in there. Um, real easy to uh, to go like to Walmart or something and get some of those uh, plastic bins and you can store all kinds of stuff in there. So I'm sure you'll agree the Coachman Chaparral uh, for a midline fifth wheel is going to be probably one of your better bangs for the buck. Um, something you can still tow without having to go to a one ton. Um, it's going to be in that mid-class range and uh, the price is great. We've got a lot of these in stock. I've got a few more uh, Coachman floor plans if you're interested in some other, maybe not a bunk. 
Um, I've got some nice fifth wheels that have uh, just setups for two people. If it's just mom and pop going out, um, you can contact me, Matt, M-A-T-T, -T, at FuntimeRV.com, or uh, just give me a call and ask for Matt. If you have any questions at all, just let me know, and we'll see you at Funtime.